And so, we mark yet another critical milestone in the long, venerated history of the Foot Clan. On the occasion of his 16th year of life, and as is his manifest duty as the sole heir to the throne, we have gathered to raise up the grandson to Oroku Saki and son to Oroku Karai. Oroku Hirato, do you swear now unto death your fealty to the Foot Clan, to become the master you were born to be? Yes. I swear my undying loyalty to all here, my most decorated generals, and to all who serve under you. With great honor and humility, I rise. It has been ten years since my beloved mother and our former master, Oroku Karai, was critically injured in her battle with the mutants of the Hamato clan. She has remained comatose since that fateful day, unable to lead our forces in the resulting bloody and costly war. As was my destiny, I studied and trained for this moment when, by birthright, I could continue to build upon her and my grandfather's honorable legacy. General Oyama, I am prepared to issue my first command as your new liege. And we are prepared to obey, Master Hiroto. Good. Send a formal invitation for a parlay to the Hamato clan leadership. To those here in Japan, and to Master Splinter in New York City. This war has gone on far too long. The time has come to speak of peace. We are ready for you now, Master Hiroto. Very well. Pay careful attention, Mother. Time to remind the city who is Master. I want this broadcast in every part of the city at once. No exceptions. Let us begin. Denizens of New York, my people, my city. For nearly two decades, I have kept you safe, protected, allowed you to prosper at will. My will. I alone decide your fate. So hear me now. Heed what I have to say. There is a monster in our midst. This creature, this assassin, cowardly attacked this sacred ground with one terroristic mission in mind. To tear down all that I have built and to kill me. This treasonous affront is unacceptable, unfathomable, unforgivable. Any crime against me is punishable by death. No stone will be left unturned until this beast is captured, and I will personally execute final justice. Tonight, and until further notice, the entire city will be under martial law. Obey my soldiers, return to your homes, await my orders, and know this. Anyone foolish enough to harbor this terrorist insurgent will not suffer its fate. No. Yours will be far worse. Your master has spoken. Man, this got real bad real fast. Yeah, and they've got all communications jammed. We need to get to Jones ASAP. Gotta admit, Casey Marie is pretty damn impressive. Book smart and street smart. Tough, too. But she's crazy if she thinks she's gonna help fight Hiroto. Ain't that right, Mike? Hmm. What? I mean, yeah, right. She's just a child. Good call. She can't be more than 17 years old. 16. And already tangling with the Foot Clan. Sound familiar? Apples to oranges, Mikey. We trained our entire lives. And she ain't a mutant, bro. She's just a kid. Casey and April's kid. And we were Splinter's kids. And Karai was Shredder's. And Hiroto's hers. And here we all are. Back to square one. Back to 
the dark? <laughs> Whoa, easy. I was just wondering if this was some kind of ninja thing I should know about. Talking to yourself in the dark? No, it's not. And it takes way more than sneaking up on somebody to make you one. <laughs> Sorry. I wasn't trying to be sneaky. And the door was open and you seemed... Never mind. Sorry. Anyway, Mom wants to see you. I'm heading topside to check in with my crew. I don't think that's a good idea, Casey. <laughs> you are the funny one. I wasn't asking for permission. That's not what I was... I just... Uh, just watch your back up there. Sure, good plan. And I'll keep working on my ninja skills while I'm at it. Straight ahead and to the left. Mom's in her lab. Kid she thinks, thinks she, she knows, knows everything. everything. Smart ass, stubborn little... And, and she's, she's way, way too, too damn young, young to be that old. <sighs> Same as it ever was. April? Casey said you wanted to see... me. Hey, come on in. Fu... Fugitoid? Yep. All that's left of him, anyway. Holy crap. You gotta stop doing this to me. Sorry. I was hoping to ease you back into everything, but... Things are about to get crazy around here. About to? I think it's time we get busy with all that catching up you keep talking about, April. Yeah, me too. All systems cross-checked. And you are ready for flight. You will have to remain radio silent the entire trip in order to avoid detection. Just be sure to disable the cloak as soon as you're over the ocean to preserve the electrical charge. It's a long flight, Donatello, and expending your fuel cells without a backup power source will make it an even longer swim. Gotcha, Professor Honeycutt. That was a joke, by the way. And very funny, I might add. Remember, our strikers cannot appear to be in an aggressive posture in New York while we are simultaneously engaged in peace talks with the Foot Clan in Japan. Understood. But I also remember what happened the last time the Foot called for a truce, Master Splinter. Do you really think it's legit? Hiroto's parlay? I don't. He's an Oroku. They all lie. In the past, yes. But as an Oroku, Hiroto has also lost much in this war. Just as we have. Perhaps the young master tires of all the senseless bloodshed as well. Maybe the time has come at last to finally close the book on this feud. And his predecessors honored many ancient traditions, regardless of our clan's long-standing enmity. As it is, Oroku Hiroto is respectfully asking. So, I am willing to try to reach a peaceful understanding. We can only hope his intentions are pure, my sons. But we will not let our guard down here either. Be strong. We will see you all again soon. They're leaving. Ready the strike team. No more hiding behind your little mutant friends, Honeycut. Street 3 to Top 1. Need some eyes on the big rig that snuggled up to the construction site a few days ago. Looks like it got some company in the last few hours. I think they're public works trucks, but I'm not seeing any workers. Roger. We've got eyes on. Opening the channel to the whole team for additional tracking. Copy that. I'll grab some backup. And drift that way a bit. Stalk me to Captain Lee. You may begin when ready. Remember, the robot must remain intact. Kill everyone else. Let's go to stage one alert. I want a few more bodies on the roof and on the street. Let's get some drones up too, Top. Want to make sure we're covered. Top one, you copy?
Heads up. We've got movement on. Ah! Incoming! We're under attack! Idiots! Less than 30 seconds to compromise the entire mission! Captain Lee, acquire the target and get the hell out of there! I'm sending in the prototypes to help you clumsy fools. What are we looking at? The alarm came from the sewer defenses, sir. We've got Foot Ninja coming at us from all angles. Damn it. How'd they find us? Listen up. Lock down all outer doors and take your positions. I want every access point covered. Casey. What's your location? The hangar. Me and Mike grabbed April and Honeycutt as soon as we heard the alarms. We're getting ready to head your way with the rest of the tech crew. Mike, take point. Me and the strikers got the re- Holy hell! Casey! I'm good. Leo. We got bogeys blasting in through all the bay doors and rooftop access ports. We going underground? Negative. Sewer levels are breached too. Pull back to the main compound and get as many as you can into the safe room. Copy that. We're at the back of the shop now. We'll get everyone secured, then head your way with some strikers. The faster the better, Case. We've got a second wave moving in. Never seen these foot before. They look heavily armored and... Damn it! Casey, about that backup? <laughs> Hurry! Nasty looking buggers. Yeah, I told you guys. The Foot Clan are nothing but liars. I hear you, Mike. But first things first, bro. Get my wife and Honeycut to safety. Then we'll see what these wimps got. Come on! Safe room's this way! But Casey and Leo... We'll be fine if we hurry! This is Stockman's doing. He's found a way to track me. You two, topside. Nobody passes. Roger. Watch a six. They're coming in everywhere. Almost there! What the hell are those things? They can't be human. Let's find out. The class is Pain 101. Your instructor is... Casey, no! Gungala! Gungala! Target acquired. This is Stockman. Bring him to me. Wait! Oh no, you don't! Ah! Imbeciles! Send in the Mausers! Now! All of them! I want that future toy! Uh, hockey ain't your thing, huh? Let's try cricket instead. Ah! Holy crap. Terminators. Huh? Just what the doctor ordered. April! You okay to get the honey cut inside and lock it down? I'm good, Mikey. But the professor's in bad shape and there's a lot of debris jamming the door. Do what you can! I'll hold them off! That's what I'm talking about. Legendary. I'm gonna call you the Ledge. All right, Leonidas. What's the plan? Uh, that's something you don't see every day. Mike, we'll stall these things as long as we can. You get everyone clear, then get word to Donnie and Sensei. Frickin' robot wimps. We'll follow behind as soon as we're done. But do it, Mikey. We got this. Guys. No! Wait, Professor! Your turn to buy the pizza when we're through. Yep, but I picked the topics. Ham, pineapple, and jalapeno. Ugh, what is wrong with you? I know it's me you've come for, Stockman. I'll self-destruct before I let you hurt my friends, or imprison me again. You shall not pass! Very well. If I can't have you, nobody will. Holy 
hell? Subway's not running. Total power blackout. Everyone's panicking. I knew he wrote it was nuts. This is beyond insane. I just hope the crew made it to the park okay. Out of my way! Move! Yo, Casey! Thank God. Guys! What the hell? Martial law. Yeah, full crackdown. This could bring down the whole damn resistance. Hope your mutant was worth it, Jones. He ain't my mutant breaker. <laughs> yeah, this is bad. But no point freaking out. We need to get the word out to the others somehow. Let them know to be ready. For what? I'm working on that, so chill. Everything's gonna be okay. I hope. You was saying, Jones? Everyone underground! Now! Halt! Stop and be identified! Scrape, you and Crunch take out those guards! Copy. Everyone else! Over the top! Halt! We gotta split up. Use the tunnels to cover more ground. Me and Lug will go east. I'll take Crunch with me past the park. And I'll head west. We'll use the old telecom lines to contact everyone else when we're all secure. Let's shoot to meet them at the lair in an hour. Meantime, whatever you do, stay underground and watch your backs. Damn! Do we even have an hour? Gotta get to the lair. Warn Mom. Too many twists and turns down here. I might not make it in time. I told the guys to stick to the sewers, to stay underground. Gonna have to break my own rules. Halt! Crap! Stand and be identified. Help! Someone! Hey, foot bastard! Identify this! Oh, thank God! Run! I'll handle this! But you'll be killed! <laughs> nah. I ain't the one you gotta worry about. Oh. Huh. Uh. Oh. Damn it! I don't so got, got time, time for this, this crap. crap. Get out of here! I'll take care of these two. Scumbags. Whoa. Man. I really gotta get back to Mom. Ow! Seriously? Just... just hurry up. I hate needles. Then stop squirming. I only need a few more vials. I get that you scientists can't help poking and prodding everything. But am I gonna have any blood left after this? What are you, five years old? It's barely any blood. I need to see what your advanced mutation is doing to your body. But I can get you a lollipop when I'm done if that helps. Whatever. Just hurry up. So, how badly damaged is he? Is Honeycut still in there? Um, I don't know. I think so. I hope so. It's just, I'm pretty sure Stockman found us last time by hacking the security firewalls Fugitoid had developed to keep us hidden during the war. Reactivating him now would be like blasting another come-kill-us signal to the bad guys. Well, come kill the rest of us, at least. April, after the explosion, how... How'd I end up here? Well, it didn't happen overnight, that's for sure. After the smoke cleared, a rescue team pulled me out of the rubble and got me to a hospital, where I woke up about a week later, only to find out I'd lost my husband, my friends, my home, my arm, my leg, and, uh, oh yeah, surprise, I was pregnant. I ended up staying in the hospital for a long time. Lots of physical and mental therapy. Honestly, I don't know which part was harder. 
Meanwhile, Hirodo and the Foot were taking control of New York. As work to complete the wall around the city to protect against rising water levels nears its finish date, law enforcement has found itself embroiled in a quickly escalating war against organized crime gangs on the inside. When they finally discharged me, I had a shiny new arm and leg, and a shiny new baby to go along with them. Things were getting really bad in the city, so I moved us down into the lair. More like hit us, but it was okay. With the store destroyed and everyone gone, it was all I had left to remind me of... Well, you know. Okay, all done. How'd you get Fugitoid's head? Some of Leo and Casey's strike team who weren't killed in the battle recovered it. Yeah? Where are those guys now? Most of them died fighting Hirodo's forces when he took over. The few that are left are commanding underground resistance units in other parts of the city. You know, Casey Marie told me about the training you did in Asia and Europe. But she didn't say how the hell you got all the way over there. In a fog, mostly. Last thing I remember clearly was trying to get you and the Fugitoid to safety. Except the damn explosion knocked me halfway across the neighborhood. And all the way unconscious. Don't have any clue how long I was out. By the time I came to, the store was gone. And I figured everyone with it. I just didn't think there was any way anyone could have survived. Not that I was thinking clearly about anything. It was all kind of a haze for a while. All I know is, I found my way down to the sewers somehow. Then to the lair. I tried calling Donnie, to warn him and father, but... Nothing. I was confused and desperate. All I could think was I had to save them. So I grabbed some things from the lair, weapons and other stuff, and stowed away on a plane to Japan as fast as I could. I was hoping I could reach them in time. I just didn't know what else to do. I know what you're thinking, but it's not your fault, Mikey. None of it. The counselors I worked with called it survivor's guilt. Oh, and I had plenty of it after the explosion. It took a while. Lots of therapy, lots of tears. But I finally realized there was nothing I could have done to change the things that happened. But that doesn't mean I have to accept what's happening now. None of us do. I think I know how to beat Hirodo. Then you need to show us how, right now, Mom. <sighs> Cause all hell's breaking loose in Brock Bottom. Look at them down there. Tiny little insects, begging to be crushed. Oblivious to the giant who towers over them. To me, I am the one. I am the one they owe their entire pathetic existence to. I am the one who gives them all they need. And I am the one who could crush them without a second thought. And yet, they act like children. Spoiled, entitled children. I give them orders, and still they whine, and they protest, and... They've been far too indulgent. The fools forget who rules all here, whose very will could bring it all crashing down with a single word. I am their god incarnate! God made flesh! Flesh and blood. I am their master! I alone... All alone... You left me... Mother... Left me in charge of an empire... And before that... Was a small boy... Your only son... Why? Why?! <laughs> because you knew what I could do... What I was capable of, Mother... You, Orokusaki, Grandfather, Shredder, 
You see me now, don't you? I am all you aspire to be. And more. Your heir. Your better! What does it matter? You're dead. 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 And I... I live! Flesh of your flesh. Blood of your blood. Left behind to find my own way. My own path. I will rise. Rise to our greatest triumph. <laughs> I will not die today, left alone on the streets to rot. No, I will never again be forgotten. Abandoned. I am God, immortal. My angels will not allow it. <laughs> You're crazy. I mean, I get the concept, April, but come on. It's like a billion to one shot. More like our only shot, Mikey. With way too many variables, too many moving parts. Too many lives lost. So, correct me if I'm wrong. Baxter Stockman's got his own headquarters, fortress, whatever. And we need to attack it and shut him down before we can take out Hiroto? And our only shot is to try and activate Honeycutt during the attack. And if he wakes up, maybe he'll help us knock out Baxter's tech? I'm sorry, I can't buy into this. Every plan, no matter the odds, has risk. You know that. <laughs> At least these are better odds than a 100-year-old mutant attacking Hiroto directly. And like I already said, we don't need your permission. This isn't about permission. It's about reality. Do you all have a death wish or what? <laughs> Look who's talking! And we were dying before you got here. You just made it worse. Enough. Come with me, Mikey. There's something else you need to see. April, they're just kids. You need to let me do my own thing. Just humor me, okay? Fine. But I won't change my mind. Look... I've run enough schematics on Honeycutt over the years to know everything's still functional. He's just in stasis right now to avoid detection. It's the same reason we run things as low-tech as we do down here. Because we know Stockman's always sniffing. Holy! I've been prepping for a long time, Mikey. Getting ready for the one last fight for our freedom I knew was eventually coming waiting for the right moment when we could strike most effectively. I've been planning, and I've been building. I think Donnie would approve, don't you? Yeah. What is it? Just a little something to help even the odds. <laughs> 